There used to be two ways to save, piggy or bank. Corporate banks maximize their own profits. Banks got bigger and bigger and bigger. But then not-for-profit credit unions came along. Because they were not-for-profits, they had lower fees and interest rates and offered free programs. And boom, credit unions gave people a way to save money and were helping the community. Now, more members of our community could be helped, not just friends of banks. Credit unions worked with their members to help them keep their cars, stay in their homes, and prevent their credit from going south. So, people that once had a half-empty bag with nothing to show for it, had their frowns turned upside down by credit unions and got what they needed most. But credit unions aren't just handing out free meals. Nope, by offering financial education, they're teaching our communities to bring home the bacon or fish you know, give a community a fish, they save for a day, or something like that. But regulation is underway to restrict credit unions' capital funding, taking away the very lifeline of community support. This means the bag gets a lot smaller and less of the community is helped. The regulation is saying no to helping our community. Resources dedicated to free financial education programs would also go away and small business lending would tighten up, meaning fewer local businesses and a slowing of our community's economies and employment rates. The National Credit Union Association, NCUA, is proposing risk-based capital regulation. It, aka evil risk-based capital regulation, would change the very nature of credit unions. Now's the time to speak up so credit unions can keep giving back. We're asking you to join the millions of other credit union members and say no to the NCUA's proposal. For more information and to sign the petition to keep credit unions for the people, go to gtefinancial.org risk.